Analysis of means is one of those charts that can be used in healthcare, but I don't see it that often. But here's an example from Davis Balistracci's book, uh, Data Sanity. So here we see ED admits by week. And so all we have to do is go back to our data here. And we have it by day and we have it by week. Now by week it didn't look like there was much going on there, but it would help us predict uh, what our staffing levels might be. But we could use the QI macros, click on control charts, and choose analysis of means. And it'll just ask for a numeric value, and the default is 0.05. And if we want to group it by row or column, the column is day of the week. So that might be an interesting way to look at this data. And so you, here you can see our mean is probably 28 uh, for ED admits, but it's higher on Monday and declines throughout the week. So if we were staffing the ED and trying to manage our costs, we would find a way to actually implement this into our staffing so that we understand what's going to happen in, our, in the business in the ED over the course of the week. So the analysis of means chart might assist us with figuring out certain kinds of things. It doesn't look like to me, you know, that if we look at it over weeks, it's kind of on average here. There's a little up, little down, little up, little down. But if we look at it day by day, this tells us there's kind of a, there's something going on here and we might be able to adjust our staffing to match it. And that's how you can use the analysis of mean charts in healthcare using the QI macros.